Okay, so that last video took about six minutes. I wanted to go ahead and break this up into a couple videos so that I, again, can make this a little bit easier to kind of digest. You don't have to watch a full 20 minute video, you can break this up. So we're now gonna go ahead and take a look at this problem B. Again, if you wanted to see this one again, just go back and watch the first example. But we are gonna now work with six R squared plus 11rs plus s squared. You can see we have two sets of variables now. We have r's and s's. Uh, step one is to look for a greatest common factor. 6, 11, and 4 don't have anything. These two have r's, but this one doesn't. These two have s's, but this one doesn't. So there isn't a greatest common factor for this one, so we can go ahead and move to step two, which says multiply a and c to get your key number. So we're going to multiply a times c. So our key number is going to be our key will be 6 times 4 is a positive 24. And now we're going to look for factors of 24 that add to our middle term. So find factors of your key term that add to B. What is B here? 11. So let's get our factors of 24. There's going to be 24 and 1 and 12 and 2. Those don't add to 11. Um, how about 8 and 3? We know there's also 6 and 4, but we know that the ones that add to, remember, 12 and tw 24 and 1 add to 24, 12 and 2 add to 14, 8 and 3 are what add to an 11. So my next step here is going to be to break my middle bx term up into the factors from step 3. So let's go over here. I'm going to recopy this problem. It's and it's going to be 6 6 r squared plus 11 r s plus 4 s squared. And now I'm going to move over here and so our step we took care of step one, step two, step three. Now we're going to break our middle term up into our factors. So we're going to break this middle term up. So the first term stays the same. It's still going to be 6r squared. And then what we're going to have here is we are going to have a positive 8rs. It gets both the r and the s and a positive 3rs. And then we're going to have a positive 4 s squared at the end. So again, you see we broke this 11 up into 8 plus 3. And step five is to use the factor, factor by grouping technique. So we group these first two terms together, group these second terms together. And what can we take out of our first two terms? Six and eight, we know that we can take out a two. And then take a look at the variables. You can see that we have an r squared and an rs. So they both are going to have an r in common. Again, that's like dividing each of these terms by two r. And what do we have left over? When we look over here, 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. And r squared divided by r is going to give us an r to the first power. Um, in this second grouping, 8 divided by 2 is going to give us a positive 4. Um, what's going to happen to our r's? You can see our r's are going to cancel out. But we are going to have an s left over. So we are going to have 3r plus 4s in this first grouping. Take a look at the second grouping. A positive 3 and a positive 4, there's nothing that we can take out there, right? No numbers. But these both have an S in common. So I'm going to write a positive S. I'm going to take a positive S out. Again, that's like dividing each of these terms by S. And now, what do we have left inside the parentheses? We can see that the S's cancel out up here, and we're going to be left with 3R. And then we have a positive, and then 4s squared divided by s. We know that we're just going to have a 4s left over. You know you're doing this process right when what's inside these parentheses match up. So now we can take out a 3r plus 4s. So I'm going to write a 3r plus 4s out front. That's like dividing each of these by 3r plus 4s. Dividing this one by 3r plus 4s. Um, we see that what's left over, these are going to cancel, these are going to cancel. And we're going to have, in the first term, we're going to have a, a 2r and a plus s. So in the second factor, there's a 2r plus s. And that's that one. So let's go ahead and move over here. And I'll write the answer for that one over here. It's going to be 
3r plus 4s, 2r plus s. Um, I just took a look at part C and I copied the problem down incorrectly. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this video exactly as it appears now. And then we, I will go ahead and create one more video that goes through an example similar to what we have in problem C. So be on the lookout for that last video.